aggro deck that's, you know, the Boon Seder build, Rattleclaw Mystic, a much more problematic matchup. You want stable sources of mana acceleration, you want a lot of high toughness. Nicholas's build does not have as much of that going on as someone like Chris's does. We're underway here in our last round of the Swiss, round number 15. Tarasi with a Temple of Abandon. He scries, he passes the turn back over to Eagle. So you have to imagine that's something to do on turn one, and he does in Lightning Berserker. Now, Tarasi only does have five cards, unfortunately, for him. So we'll have to try to overcome this double mulligan. He does have a forest, and now there's Nelvish Mystic. So he's not doing too bad to start. That'll be who boy. Wah, wah. <laughs> Searing Blood is a real beating there, and now here's an attack for one as well. So Tarasi down to 16. Very and friendly. that's the one to main deck copy. Boom. Perfect. A forest. A Rattleclaw Mystic. And a passing of the turn back to Eagle. And this is a matchup where the difference between this and Sylvan Carry added is enormous. Night and day, right? Yep. A bit of Wild Slash here. Yes, there is. Time to attack. Pump twice as well. Lightning Berserker is a heck of a magic card. <laughs> a lot of good options at one mana for Mono Red right now. Eagle's hand, very nice. Two Hordling Outburst, a Goblin Heal Cutter. Heal Cutter lines up pretty well with what Tarasi just played. I think that Michael can even spend a turn or two developing his board with Hordling Outburst before bothering with the Heal Cutter. Yeah. Especially with that Stoke the Flames in hand. We're going to see Hordling Outburst here. Three Goblin tokens on the way. You mentioned the Stoke the Flames in hand as well. So Egos going to take the opportunity to develop a little bit and then start sending into the red zone. No reason to trade with the Ash Cloud Phoenix. Michael can develop his board and then eventually he'll cut her through it if he's feeling so inclined. So I like the no attacks there. Just play some stuff. There's Greatest Claws. It is Ferocious, of course. And they're Stoke the Flames. That's going upstairs. There goes the Lightning Preserver. Had the opportunity there to take care of the Phoenix. Doesn't and fizzled, seem too concerned. Could have fizzled the spell, but um, with Heal Cutter in hand, no real reason to do it. There is Heal Cutter. Can dash the Berserker, too, if he wants this turn. Looks like he's going to. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Shrug. No blocks allowed. Three, four, five, six, seven points of damage. Cut off the Mana Confluence, knock him down to one. Yep. Still got your three tokens in play. Sweeper doesn't even matter because the dashers go back to the hand. Yep. Hard to pass that up. There's Rabble Master. Egolf, so nice to give him a Goblin token. I'm not sure what the value is in showing the Rabble Master here because Nicholas is dead on the board. Yeah, another spell doesn't even need to be played at this point. So I agree with you. There's Heal Cutter. There's Lightning Berserker. Attacking and killing. Michael Egolf going to win game number one here against Nicholas Tarasi. Mono Red Aggro, very quickly up a game over Green Red Aggro. Giving me that information, though, with the Rabble Master being in his deck, could be helpful for how Michael wants to sideboard. Exactly. You know, you, you don't exactly know how good your cards like Wild Slash are going to be against Green Red Aggro. Michael now has a good idea that those shocks, you know, you saw Searing Blood that game. Uh, if Nicholas is planning on bailing on the Rabble Masters, then I think that's fine to show it because Michael may overvalue his shocks during sideboarding. But if Nicholas is intending on leaving them in, uh, I think he would have been better served just scooping up game one. I think I'm inclined to agree as we take a look at the sideboards, and we will start with Tarasi. He's only going to five that game, so he's going to want to try to find a better hand, but what are his options? An Arc Lightning, two copies of Rose, a Dragon Lord of Tarka, an Arc Lightning, three copies of Outpost Siege, a Boon Seder, two copies of Hornet Nest, a Scouring Sands, and three copies of Destructive Revelry. Great options here. Scouring Sands is very solid here. Two copies of Hornet Nest, I think, absolutely come in. The one copy, excuse me, two copies of Arc Lightning, two copies of Roast, just more cheap removal. I wouldn't even be surprised if he went to something like Dragon Lord Atarka because he has some clunkier options in the deck. And Dragon Lord Atarka is game over in a way that Stormbreath Dragon and Thunderbreak Region are not because they just don't impact the board that much. Can still be moved past by Heal Cutter. Stoke the Flame still kills them. So uh, 
typically you do not want to bring in seven mana spells against a deck like Mono Red that's trying to kill you very quickly. But given that Nicholas has a lot of ways to slow the game down, maybe he wants to. Three Roasts, three Searing Blood, two Souring Scans, two, geez, two Scouring Sands, excuse me, two Mardu Scout, Harness by Force, two Outpost Siege, and two Vault Breaker here for Eagle. I like the one Harness by Force quite a bit. Nicholas plays with a bunch of huge creatures, so that's quite powerful. Uh, I think the copies of Searing Blood are okay to bring in. I don't know if you want to go up to the full four, but with Nicholas showing Rattleclaw Mystic, you can assume Elvish Mystic, Goblin Route Master. Even if Nicholas tries to move away from those cards in the sideboard of games, uh, he can't move away from them all together. So there's going to be plenty of Searing Blood targets in the deck. Well, game number two going to be underway here in just a moment. Green Red Aggro, Mono Red Aggro. We'll see if Tarasi can tie things up as he's playing for top eight as his e-golf. We'll very quickly talk about Patrick Chapin. His fantastic book, Next Level Magic 2015 Edition, now available. Yeah, all updated with new examples, new text from Patrick Chapin, Hall of Famer, Pro Tour Champion, two time Worlds runner up. Available on ebook as always and on paper book for the first time in over a year. StarCityGames.com slash NLM to order your copy today. Very aggressive tilt to our tournament here this week. Oh, yeah. It, it might be over real fast. Yeah, we are not messing around. Green Red Aggro. Vant Heroic, you see these two decks, Green Red Aggro and Mono Red Aggro. Obzon Aggro heavily played. You have to imagine there'll be a copy of that in the top eight. Haven't seen a lot of Obzon control, even though Jacob Wilson won our season one invitational. People trying to beat down here in Syracuse. For sure. I approve. Which is interesting because a lot of the upstate New York players that I know from the area, I associate with playing more control strategies, but that's not the way this one has played out thus far. Elvis Mystic will start things off. Monastery is supposed to be here for Eagle. We'll let him attack by that 1 1. So Tarasi already down to 19. Very solid hand, Steering Blood, Rose, Lightning Strike, another Swiss Spear. Solid opening seven here for Michael. Second Mountain, too. Yep. Obviously quite important. Three mana. That brings a Crater's Claws with it. Get that Swiss Spear off the table. And Nicholas definitely acknowledging what his role in the matchup is, is trade and block and keep the life total high. Swiss Spear number one, Swiss Spear number two, beat downs. Tarasi down to 17. Gonna keep trying to play some defense here, will Nicholas, I imagine. Four mana, this is the, these are the kind of spots where just random big plays back to back uh, might be enough to stabilize this game. Sacrifice of Wooded Foothills, go down to 16. A mountain is coming. We'll see what the follow up will be. It's four mana. It flies, which is very important in Thunder Rig region. Another Searing Blood to draw. Yeah, Michael has brought in quite a few copies. Not surprising. Attackers. There's a block. That's a Searing Blood. That'll trigger, of course, Prowess. So this will let them work through that Thunderbreak region. I'll have to lose a Swiss Spear to do so. Yeah, these, these turns are pretty ugly when someone is stalled on lands. Now, the, the two for one is good for Nicholas, but if Michael was able to follow up with more plays, he kind of overcome this. The problem is that Michael is now falling behind both in cards and in tempo in the game. And if Nicol just, Nicholas just keeps following up with big plays, it's going to be hard for Michael to manage the board and deal enough damage to win the game in time. There's Nash Cloud Phoenix. Egolf will take a draw. Stoke the Flames is what he's found. has a Searing Blood. So he'll kill the Phoenix, which will mean it'll become a Morph, but it does die. So three damage would be dealt, but also more importantly, Swiss Spear becomes a 2-3, so the attack's pretty good. Thanks. And now Nicholas kind of is a spot where you have to say, uh, do I chump block? I mean, this is, going to six here, you cannot feel comfortable about. You also can't feel that comfortable about chump blocking either. No, of course not. Because what's the plan here, you know? Michael making things very tough on Nicholas every turn of this game. And Michael's got a lot left over, too. Lightning Strike and Stoke the Flames. Four mana being tapped here very quickly. There's Arc Lightning, two and one. 
Elvis Mystic feeling a little frisky, going to come into the red zone. And I like the chump block last turn because removing the creature means stoke the flames is further away and keeping your light total high means that lightning strikes aren't going to kill you. Dragon fodder will bring two goblins. Pass the turn back. We'll e-golf over to Tarasi. Thunderbreak region will join the battlefield. Let's head eagle's way. Lightning Berserker, the draw. Lightning Berserker is really bad news for Nicholas because now Michael has the option of dashing in the Lightning Berserker. Most likely, Nicholas puts the Thunderbreak region in front of, the, in front of that. Nicholas falls down to six and then stoke the flames and Lightning Strike. That puts together lethal. You'll have the two mana left over because you don't have to pump the Lightning Berserker. Mm -hmm. So you can Lightning Strike here at the end of the turn, untap and stoke the flames. Now it doesn't have to get too creative here. Because for the most part, it is rare for these Greener Aggro decks to have life gain. It's rare. And Nicholas, to, to cut off this line of play, Nicholas needs to kill both tokens next turn. Mm, looks like Eogolf's going to take a different approach here. Though I like your suggested line. He's just going to make two more Goblin Tokens and simply pass the turn back. We'll see a Berserker as well. Just building up a board, passing. So the issue that I have with this play from Michael is that the vulnerability here to, this line, to the previous line of play I suggested was what happens if Nicholas untaps and sweeps your board. Yep. He has something like Scouring Sand, some other weird... Seismic Rupture. Seismic Rupture, yeah. That's the risk. This play is significantly more exposed to that line. It's a very real risk that card, that card comes up. We've seen a lot of seismic ruptures in sideboards of green, red aggro. Yep. Now, there, arc lightning is a risk, too. Well, arc lightning works out okay here. He still gets to stoke, but I think he gave up on the two points of damage last turn, and now Nicholas is starting to build up a little bit of a fort. Mm -hmm. Leave the draw was a lightning strike. In which case, Michael can pass, and Nicholas has to gain life. Here are the attacks. I like this attack, too, because you either win this turn or Nicholas is out his mi Elvis Mystic, and you're happy, happy either way. Yep. And I think you are very happy either way if yep. you lose his Elvis Mystic, so this is perfectly fine. You trade off the Elvish Mystic. Now that Wooded Foothills is cut off, yep. you're probably safe now if the two lightning strikes wrap the game up. There's a Hornet Nest, very late to the party. Thunderbreak region will come across for four. We'll see one Lightning Strike at the end step, another one on the upkeep, and that is going to do it. Michael Eagle is going to win this match over Nicholas Tarasi. Two games to zero. Some pats on the backs from friends here as Michael is now 12-3, and, and he should be in the top eight here in Syracuse. Yeah,